job in deciding who deserves the treasure is determining which group was most effective transporting their entire family and belongings to the new world. So pretty much we got this giant slab of concrete thing. Easily weighed over like 25 pounds. Definitely tons more. And uh, we probably just carried that up Seneca Trail. This is probably one of the harder parts and we just kind of brought it all over here. And it was really, really tiring. And really good feeling to get that back on there. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially, it's a full out Apache with between uh, all four villages and all four teams. You know, starting back with the um, with the puzzles, the tangrams, and Onondaga and Cayugans are going to do that. After they're done figuring out the tangrams and making the little squares, they're going to run with the flag to Mohawk and Seneca, who's got to do grab training, which is essentially three three rounds of the jump rope and passing on through your full team. At that point, they send the flag down here where staff. We'll staff will build a fire. Once that fire reaches a certain height, it's gonna cut a rope, which will allow Tusk to start paddling out to the first buoy out there, where there's gonna be another set of boats. And at each point, they're gonna reach a different buoy and switch boats, switch flags, until they reach the, to the ski dock, and they put their flag in and claim the moon. Family man, and it was just, it was just a great accomplishment to bring it back.
happened to the family? It was, it was overwhelming, but then like towards the end, it just got to be a point where it's like, honestly, I didn't think we were gonna win, so I was like, okay, let's just tell every kid, like, have fun with it, just go all out, do the best you can, like, who, like, who cares? It's, it's just mass program, but it's, it's mass program, and... It's all green. We all won today.